Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to extend Spring Cloud Gateway's token relay filter. We will enable the filter to refresh the access token with the refresh token. We'll go straight to Eclipse to go over the code. The first class we'll go over is the original token relay gateway filter factory written by Joe Granja. The gateway filter itself is simple in design. We pick up the principle. Check whether the principle is of type OAuth2 authentication token. And cast it to an OAuth2 authentication token. We convert it to OAuth2 authorized client with a flat map and retrieve the access token. And finally, a bearer token is created. The two private methods authorized client and with bearer auth help convert the access token. As you can see, no check is made to see whether the access token is still valid. We will solve this in our custom filter. After seeing how the original filter works, we can look at the modified version. We have a new class custom token relay gateway filter factory which extends token relay gateway filter factory. We start with four private static variables. Error message. Grant type key. Refresh token key. And clock. We need this to check whether the access token nor has expired. We make. Server OAuth2 authorized client repository and web client builder available with constructor injection and set the access token expires skew to one minute. Now comes the gateway filter. As you can see, there is an extra flat map. We check whether the access token has expired. If the access token has expired, we create a new token with the refresh token. To go over how it works, we first go down, we have a new private class authentication pair, this class combines OAuth2 authorized client and OAuth2 authentication token. The first step is should refresh. Here we check whether there is a refresh token and whether the access token is still valid. If the access token needs to be replaced, we go to the refresh authorized client method. We start by creating two headers. One with client ID and client secret. And a second one with the accept header. Then we create a web client builder with a post method. The address to request a new token. The headers. And the body. In the body we provide the grant type key and the refresh token key. With exchange to mono we retrieve the response from the spring authorization server. If the status code gives an error, we return an error message. If everything went well, we go to the next step and create an OAuth2 authorized client. With the client registration, principal name, and the new access token. For the refresh token we have the choice between the old refresh token and the new refresh token. If we choose the old token, the application will stop working when the refresh token has expired. As the filter is now set, the application will continue to work forever because we receive a new refresh token every time. We can use this new filter by setting it in the application YAML file. In default filters, we replace token relay with custom token relay. That's it for this video. You can find all the code on GitHub and you can always ask your questions. Thank you for following us and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.